what's in my bag. All right, everybody, let's get it started. There's no special introductions. We're gonna talk about what's in my bag. I travel very frequently, usually at least once a month during normal situations and not during a pandemic, but we're starting to ramp back up there. So today I wanna show you what's in my bag and we're gonna be featuring the Camino bag. Super excited about this one. So let's get things started. All right, so we're gonna talk about some of the things that I pack in my bag. Some of them have meaning, like I'm not gonna show you guys the toiletries that I put in here. I wanna show you the stuff that I pack that I absolutely have to have and kind of a little story behind each of them. The first thing that you guys saw in the beginning is my iPad. Being a travel blogger, I'm always on the go. Same with owning a hotel sales support company. I'm always on the go. I need something that's easy, fast at my tips that I can edit photos on that I can email. I ended up purchasing this when I started to get a lot more serious about my travel blog. I bought it a couple years ago. I, you know, was a little scared because it was not the cheapest thing I've ever invested in, but it has been a godsend. It's let me put out content a lot faster. Um, and since I love photography and it's become such an outlet for me, having something where I can edit and all the different Adobe suites that I use is really, really helpful. So one of the things that's great about this bag is that I can put it in one of the sleeves. So on the inside, there's actually two different sleeves that you can see here that I call them like book sleeves that you can slide something into. And they have that nice Velcro strap that you can pack in. Now we're gonna reference this later, but in that back sleeve where I put the iPad is this, you can put a charge pack on it and charge externally from this bag, but we'll show you that in a little bit. The next thing that we're gonna pack is gonna go in a book sleeve as well. I like having a book with me when I travel. I know that I could use a Kindle or a Kindle app, but there is something about touching a tangible book that just does it for me. And this is currently my favorite reads. I was, I was, this book was recommended to me um, during this last year. So I was laid off March, 2020. I work in the travel industry as my day job um, during the pandemic. And one of my friends that I got laid off with, she's been such an influential person. <laughs> influential <laughs> I wish I could talk. Influential person in my life recommended that I read this book as I started building my own company and it's a feel good book. It's, it's what you need to hear. It's not painting a pretty picture. It, there's raw emotion in it and it's just wonderful. And it's been my favorite read right now. And I'm so thankful to my friend that means the world to me that recommended this book to me. So we're going to put this in the other book sleeve. I know I was getting a little emotional here, but <laughs> I like having a tangible book and that is currently my favorite. All right, next up, I got this from my mother-in-law. I think three or four years ago at this point, I'm one of those people that gets cold when I travel, unless it's midsummer and all the plane's windows were left open. I also like having a blanket at my hotel. I like sitting on the couch with a blanket watching TV. And my mother-in-law got me this. It can duel as a large scarf style thing, but um, it can also be a blanket. So this is one of those things that I just, I have to have when I travel. Um, all the beautiful people in my life, once I started traveling more for work and blogging, have always kept an eye out for cute things to give me while I travel. So we're going to put this down in the base and you might be like, oh my gosh, why are you burying this? You're going to see why later in this video. So we're going to put that in the base. Next up, we're going to talk about the camera. So this camera means the world to me. I bought it just over two years ago. So when I first started dabbling into wanting to travel blog, I think it was about six years ago at this point, I bought a cheap DSLR camera off of Craigslist. It was $300. It came with a tripod, two lenses and whatnot. And I taught myself to shoot on that. Well, just over two years ago, I took my family, there was a group of seven of us to Italy. We wanted to show my husband's grandmother where her parents grew up in Italy. They're 100% Italian, they came over on the boat. So this was gonna be the trip of a lifetime. We were spending 
almost two weeks there. This is gonna be my daughter's first trip to Europe. We went over Easter time and it was just, it was amazing. So I saved my money and I wanted to upgrade my camera. So I upgraded to this. It's the Sony a7R II and I got a Zeiss lens. Between the body and the lens, I spent almost $3,000, but it was so worth it. I'm gonna show you guys a picture right here. Those are pictures that I took on that trip with this lens. I have them up in my office. I made my husband's grandmother a cute photo book of all of our memories with this camera. So this camera has seen a lot of things. It's seen Italy, it's seen Hawaii, it's seen France, it's seen the Caribbean, different states. This, this camera has let me turn more of my hobby into an income and a lifestyle and it's just it's grown with me and it means the world to me so we are going to put this on top of that little blanket in the base section of the bag now as to the actual part of traveling noise canceling headphones so my brother bought these beats for me Mm, I want to say it was three or four Christmases ago because he knows when I travel, I kind of like to get in my zone. I'll work a little bit. I'll edit. And what a better way to cancel out the world than with some noise canceling headphones. I like just disappearing into myself and being in my own zone when I travel. Again, those wonderful people in my life that think of me and you know, want to make my travels more comfortable. So, so appreciative of this. I'm going to pack this in the big part of the sack, but that's typically not where I actually pack it. But for aesthetic purposes, we're going to put it in. Normally, this bag has been on two to three trips with me already. I'll hook it here or I'll hook it here just so it's quick access because I don't want to dig out of the bag more than I need to. But for the sake of this video, we're going to put it in here because I want to show you guys how big this bag actually is. Now, can you consider yourself a traveler if you don't have at least one pair of sunglasses at the ready? I bought these last year on my first pandemic work trip. I was doing some travel blogging in Cosmel, Mexico, and a lot of my readers always ask me where I get my sunglasses from, so I was bound and determined to find some cute sunglasses. I love mirrored sunglasses on Amazon. These ones were like $5 and they came with a case and a cloth. I was just blown away with the quality. I mean, are they good sunglasses if they don't rip your hair out a little bit? Let's be honest. But these were great. I fell in love with them. They were so unique and it just, it made me feel good to find some cool options for my followers that weren't going to break the bank. So that's why I have these. I like sticking them in one of these front pockets here on the bag just so they're at the ready because especially when I travel in the winter, it's so gray in New York. The second you land in Florida, the Caribbean, Hawaii, wherever, you need to be sunglasses ready. Now you can't be a travel blogger if you don't travel with a tripod. So I have a ton of tripods. This is the one I will usually pack in the backpack in the airport. I have bigger beastly ones, but this one does the trick on the fly. It's nice to hold. It's nice to just do a bunch of things with. So I know that I should put it in this big section, but where I actually like to put the tripod, this bag has a really cool side pocket water bottle holder. So I actually like to put this in here. <laughs> That's just me tightened at the top. And one of the things I love about this bag is it has a strap that you can secure it. I do have another travel backpack that has one of these pop out things, but the water bottles and this one just kind of flop around because they don't have this strap. So this is an awesome feature. Now the last components of my must haves is I always have cash on me. I happen to have euros because I didn't have any US dollars on me because you never know if where you, you know, when you get to where you're going, if all the vendors will accept cards, something happens. I'm just a very big advocate of having cash on hand at all times. And we're gonna end up putting it in my passport wallet. This passport, as you can tell, it's seen a lot. This was my first 
adult passport because my first passport, even though it was an adult one, I got it when I was 16. So this was my first, I had to go get my passport renewed style passport and it has now seen me through multiple destinations in the Caribbean, like Cuba, Mexico. It's seen me through Italy, through France. And I just, I love going back and looking at the stamps and just reminiscing. That's probably why I like photography so much. I like reminiscing on my trips. So this is my favorite book that I own. <laughs> I saw a really cool uh, quote in, I think it was the O'Hare airport that said the book with the most stories should be your passport. And I just, I love that. And it's always stayed with me. So I like having a travel passport wallet. I usually do bring a smaller one in addition, just when I'm there to throw small currency in. So I'm not bringing the passport everywhere, but it has a slot for cards, slot for cash, slot for the passport. And then it sneaks back around like this. So one of the things that I really like about this bag is that there's a little zipper on the back side, so you don't have to worry about it getting stolen out of the front of your bag when you're not paying attention. So this will go right along your back, which is absolutely wonderful. So now we're gonna review this bag a little bit. So to close it up, you tighten it here at the top, and then you can pull this top part over to close with a magnet here. And one of the cool things about this bag is you can adjust this strap. So when I have one of my tripods that's kind of sticking out the top because it's a bigger one, I can lengthen this so that it still fastens, which is really, really wonderful. Another cool feature about this bag is it has the open slit right here so you can stick it right on top of a roller, which is, I have back problems. So that is like one of the best things about this bag. It is just wonderful. Another neat thing about this bag is this little zipper towards the top. I'll put a phone cord in here so that I can do some of that external charging, which I'm gonna show you shortly. I'll put some medicine in the top here. It is just quick, easy access. I love it and I'm, and I'm obsessed with it. Another cool thing about this bag, so I know some of you might've gasped when I put the blanket at the bottom. They're like, Haley, now you're gonna have to pull that entire bag apart to get your blanket. Not so, because on this side of the bag, you can fasten it to make sure it doesn't go anywhere when you're traveling, but you just unzip right here, and I could pull the camera out, I could pull the blanket out. I love this, because I hate when I have to go through other backpacks and really pull them apart to pull out what I need. This might be my favorite zipper on this bag. Another cool feature in the front here is in this little front pocket, there is, you can attach something that might easily fall out to this drawstring, um, they, I, like keys, you know, losing your car keys when you travel. That's one of my biggest phobias is like losing my car keys when I parked my car at the airport. So you could attach them to here, make sure you don't lose them. So overall, this bag is just, this bag is life. I know that this was gifted to me, it's you know technically sponsored, but I have taken this bag on three trips and I've had friends look at this bag, I've had my husband look at this bag and they are just blown away. Like I can't imagine taking any other bag because sometimes when you have a backpack that has to be functional and have great organization, they don't look aesthetically pleasing, but like this is a cute bag. like. It's wonderful. The only con, and I can say this now that I've taken it on three trips, are possibly this, like sometimes these will pull off. They have little screws on the one side because you know I'm constantly yanking and doing this thing. Now I'm very heavy because I have gear in here. So when I have a tripod, different lenses, I'm a bit heavy on these. Um, and then the gray part is kind of like a plastic that's woven in here. And um, I do kind of scuff those, but those would really be, I guess the only con to this bag, but um, it has just been amazing. I, I, haven't even, I haven't even thought of using any of the other bags that I have. Cause when I travel, especially for leisure, more so travel blogging, I don't like having a lot of luggage on me. I kind of prefer to just kind of go with a backpack and I'll check almost everything else. 
and I've used this bag and it just it hit the mark because I could pack my very important tech gear that I needed, like stuff that I can't replace easily. My drone case fit in here. I've put a change of clothes in here. I've just, I've been blown away with this bag. So I hope you guys will give it a try. There are some special codes down below. So if you need anything, you have any questions, please hit me up at Haley with a flare. I'm on all social media platforms from Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, just everywhere. So make sure you guys check that out and give this bag a try. See you next time, guys. Bye.